गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ अजय छाबड़ा आई एम डिजिटल मार्केटिंग प्रोफेसर एंड आई एम ऑल्सो वर्किंग अपॉन अ डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बुक सो द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे विच आर विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज वाई डू डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स फेल एंड वट आर द क्रिटिकल सक्सेस फैक्टर्स टू फोकस अपॉन now this is the broader agenda for my presentation <clears throat> we will start with uh, my introduction then uh, i have also defined uh, digital transformation in my book which is work in progress right now so we'll share that then what is the market size and scope of digital transformation what is the current context what are the main reasons for failures what what's all included in digital transformation then uh, a thought about my case studies and digital transformation book work which i have been working upon for last uh, couple of years i have also invented a new framework on digital transformation which is called 12e 75c framework of digital transformation so i will introduce that uh, new digital transformation framework to the world with the help of this video today then what are the critical success factors to focus upon and these factors have uh, have been observed as part of my research by talking to various professionals in digital transformation and understanding and uh, understanding to know about the project they are doing and how they have been succeeded or failed in their digital transformation endeavor now the road ahead and future of digital transformation we all we all know that digi digital transformation is here to stay it's going to be a long term journey and what could be the potential future of digital transformation in near future basically now just to introduce you to uh, my profile so i have overall 23 years of industry experience and last 18 years in digital marketing uh, i was part of top 3 global agencies ogilvy and mather wpp group mrm worldwide ipg group and bruce clay india which is a global seo agency as country head in my career on the client side i work with general electric company as global digital media and content engagement manager in the global headquarter in the healthcare business in wisconsin us and it was a global marcom team i was part of that in my consulting roles i have i have helped many companies uh, and various brands uh, global leader in vacuum bottles Zizang hires vacuum containers, and also helped establish Amplify dot AI, Botworks dot AI, which was a Silicon Valley startup. Then, in the last five years, uh, I have developed the interest for teaching and got invitation to speak at a very large number of corporations, government, academic institutions, and top B schools in India. even i have delivered 8 uh, hours long master classes currently where i am recording this session i am in the campus of flame university in pune and i have been teaching at flame university in pune couple of subjects uh, digital strategy introduction to digital marketing emerging digital technologies digital marketing and communication to pg and ug students prior to that i have also taught at mdi gurgaon which is one of the uh, top b school and also i have taught at uh, bimtech uh, greater noida and and many many more basically so let's come back to the main topic what is digital transformation so digital transformation as defined by me in my book is that digital transformation in nutshell can be defined as the application of new age digital technology tools thinking mindset and innovations for making substantial change in the way a customer organization or a society at large experiences an existing or new product or service due to digital transformation processes individual companies and societies undergo a positive change operations become smooth and streamlined and newer business models evolve or even fully digital products and services are evolved so this is uh, how i have tried to define a digital transformation there are multiple components to this so digital transformation is, is no, not only about digital tools and technologies it is about thinking mindset and innovations also and it impacts not only individual but in, it impacts organization and it it affects society at large also basically now coming to market size and scope 
uh, IDC has predicted that uh, this is going to be 3.4 trillion dollar industry uh, by 2026 basically so uh, this is the market size and scope but uh, yet a whooping 84 project 84 percent projects are failing to achieve the desired uh, impact and so what are the fundamental mistakes to avoid and how can we ensure that the desired impact is achieved so you will all be surprised to know that around 84 percent projects in digital transformation they are failing to achieve their primary objectives so this presentation is about let's understand what are those failure factors and what are the critical success factors the current context so more than 80 percent organizations are failing in their di digital transformation projects if you look at articles from harvard business review forbes why so many high profile digital transformations fail 12 reasons your digital transformation will fail why 84 percent of companies fail at digital transformation so articles by forbes hbr mckinsey research report boston consulting group are indicating uh, that more than 80 percent of digital transformation projects do not yield the desired results now let us understand the world economic order now in the last decade 80 percent of top companies are the digital companies or platforms the dominance of oil and telecom companies have ended basically so this is coming from a uh, uh, this piece of information is coming from one of my uh, industry colleague who made this presentation and i have taken uh, a snapshot from that there he also mentions that platform based companies are rising basically the platform economy and exploitation of customer network effect so advocated by professor sunil gupta at harvard is becoming a strong signal in strategy basically now digital transformation has also already become a priority by governments basically now if you see uh, government of ukraine they have already set up a ministry of digital transformation there are other countries also who are setting up ministries of uh, digital transformation so a lot of governments have made digital transformation as a priority even few countries have formed new ministries now let's understand what where are the gaps basically and uh, most of these implementations are taken care by top 20 vendors and some of these are top big five consulting organizations also now these big five consulting companies are pushing mostly product solution focused uh, for implementation of digital transformation initiatives and due to long impl implementation cycles and very high cost fail to achieve the desired impact and that is why small digital transformation focused consultants and consulting companies are flourishing basically now uh, the challenges with big five high cost long implementation cycle product and solution focused uh, solution basically so small digital transformation focused consultants and consulting companies are flourishing now digital transformation is way beyond technology there are a lot of articles uh, floating around saying that digital transformation is not about technology in harvard business uh, review and all that so a recent study of directors ceos and senior executives found that digital transformation risk uh, is number one concern in 2019 yet 70% of all dt initiatives do not reach their goals of the 1.3 trillion that was spent on dt last year it was estimated that 900 billion went in waste basically so this is the kind of wastage uh, we have already seen uh, although there is huge hype around this technology yet they are failing to achieve results basically so digital transformation is way beyond just adoption of new emerging technologies like artificial intelligence internet of things machine learning uh, augmented reality virtual reality blockchain for the growth of your business so having technology is just one element of uh, your digital transformation that is what i have defined in my new framework which is 12e 
75C. Now in 12E 75C there are 12 elements. So technology is just current uh, emerging technologies or new technologies is just one of those 12 elements. Now main reasons of failures. So uh, there was a uh, article by Dr. Corey Block who is a PhD DBA and he says that most major consultancies agree that no matter how awesome your tech is, your digital transformation, DX efforts appear doomed from the start. In 2016, Forbes assess the risk of failure in digital transformation to 84%. According to McKinsey, BCG, KPMG and Bannon Consulting, the risk of failure falls somewhere between 70 to 95% basically. So clearly we are doing something wrong in digital transformation. Yet we are still willing to go through the motions knowing that it is largely a waste of resource. So this is the point of research and study that why having spent so much resources the large companies still struggle and what is the remedy. Now from this article uh, of Dr. Corey Block, so we have taken these 12 practical reasons for digital transformation project failures. Poor prioritization of development, lack of training for internal users, distraction by the minutia, slow decision making process, lack of control over external vendors, micromanagement, mismanagement of agile team, resistance for fear of being replaced, inability to translate into executive language, lack of awareness within the organization, loss of talent to competitions, shiny toy syndrome, lack of alignment to business outcomes basically. So these are some of the uh, top 12 practical reasons basically. Now, so I did my prime, started doing my primary research way back in 2017. I gave it a shape in 2020 and today we are in 2023. So, so I've done a lot of work in this area. I've read so many books, articles, publications around and then I have kind of come to a conclusion I have started and created my own framework. So my primary research in digital transformation and case study collection. So uh, so I curated content and created my first presentation way back in 2017. It was a roadmap to growth of Indian companies with the help of digital transformation. I also started, uh, I studied literature, created questionnaire and started uh, doing primary research and case study collection in 2020. So the, my first main questionnaire came out in 2020 and I started contacted, contacting people in digital transformation uh, and I started administering them this survey and they answered. Now these are some of the few brands who have already shared their digital transformation project case study with me. Dynamics Square, America's leading Microsoft Dynamics gold partner for a UK manufacturing company. Uh, one of the employee of Google. So Google's head of innovation and global strategic innovation for transforming a media house in Malaysia. Intermiles, director digital marketing and web analytics of a leading travel and lifestyle rewards program in India. Then Motorsports, a lead consultants working on the brand and creating new avenues for Motorsports India. F free, so a lead consultant transforming this global shoe brand basically. TBZ, Chief Technology Officer at Tribhuvan Das Bhimaji Zaveri Limited. So these are some of the guys and even, and even there are more basically. Now let me introduce uh, to the world my framework which is called 12E75C Framework of Digital Transformation by Ajay Chabda. Now these are the digital transformation success elements. I can club them into four factors basically. Number one we have organization factors organization structure and business processes number two decision making process leadership mindset there are four factors strategic thinking future elements innovation and speed leadership mindset in terms of technology stack there are uh, two components and elements new age emerging technologies current IT systems and capabilities in terms of engaged customers and employees it is the people, the customer, products and service offerings, employee behavior. So you understand now you can by looking at these 12 elements, you can very well understand that. So technology has 
there are two elements current capabilities and emerging technologies rest are non technology elements in the digital tra transformation success basically now based on this framework i created my 12 e75c this is the first time i am sharing my framework to the world by the help of this video now it has 12 elements and these 12 elements can further be divided into uh, currently 75 elements components but i am not stopping here basically the way the more and more i am doing research the number of elements and the number of components might increase in future basically so this is the framework i am going to uh, release to the world with the help of this video now what are the critical success factors to focus upon based on this framework uh, critical success factors executive sponsorship and approval of the board this is the most important aspect basically key leadership mindset which should be digital savvy then availability of funds basically availability of skilled manpower because when you start implementing digital transformation skill set is the most important thing to worry about then attitudes and behavior of employee how can you mend their behavior for achieving organization objective then person responsible for the entire transformation project the role of key consultant or principal consultant is very very important in driving success for any uh, digital transformation project then evaluation of existing on ongoing initiatives whatever initiatives you are doing bit in bits and pieces across organization you have to take a account of that basically then readiness of the company for new ideas and technologies now we might be good in doing hackathon an idea thrown and then creating generating hundreds of ideas but are we ready to implement those ideas is one of the core critical factor then degree of disruptiveness in your industry that how disruptive your industry is how many startups are coming up in your industry daily then having clarity of objectives of transformation project basically now one needs needs to have clarity of what what is that i am going to achieve from digital transformation then need of training and educating employees very very important upskilling skilling uh, is very very important for the success of digital transformation then use of appropriate metrics is for measuring the success now success might mean that what metrics is you are using to measure it so you have to use appropriate success and at times beyond all of this you will have to communicate the project success internally as well as externally and that is very very important to keep up uh, the motivation of employees and also uh, excite your customers your investors and the media people outside external of your organization now what is the road ahead and future of digital transformation as i perceive myself sitting here on uh, 31st of march 2023 now dt will emerge as a major field of study now some of the leading institution across the globe and as well as in india have started offering digital transformation programs and emerging technologies like artificial intelligence iot ml ar vr and blockchain but the sad part about these uh, programs is that they are only focusing upon emerging technologies primarily 80% of course content is only digital emerging technologies so if you look at my success factors uh like the uh, technology is just two out of 12 el uh, elements of success basically so these programs needs to restructure basically then we will see more such profiles in future there are now on the left hand side you see a guy who is the uh, minister of digital transformation and we also see one uh, shri uh, one another guy on the right hand side he is he was the ex and first chief digital officer of new york city so uh, even government organizations are going to appoint chief digital people now ministries are appointing minister of digital transformation so cities companies and even countries would have chief digital officers and chief transformation officers and even ministers basically so this is my another prediction so my first prediction was that uh, this will evolve as a major field of study and this might even become a department in various universities second prediction is that we'll see more of empowered people uh, taking up the role of chief digital officers and chief transformation officers and even countries will have ministries of digital transformation so that is my prediction then there will be more consolidation in this space now octos acquisition will help ibm to gain a strong foothold in the federal government's digital transformation projects 
in the past they have outsourced uh, that work to octo so o octo getting acquired by ibm okay then cognizant to acquire digital transformation consultancy firm austin csi so these mergers and acquisitions are going to happen basically then more countries to have ministry of digital transformation like we currently see uh, there are two countries who already have established that ministry so to push the agenda of e governance and digitizing the entire value chain of government to citizen services so these are some of the references and uh, to sum to summarize uh, digital transformation uh, can real substantial change in the organization provided we are working upon the right set of elements and the right set of components as i have defined in 12e 75c framework of digital transformation i would love to receive your feedback on my framework and if you wish to associate with me uh, on this project if you wish to share your case study please feel free to do so and uh, i welcome all inputs criticism appreciation at the same uh, uh, level basically so thank you so much for your time and i believe <clears throat> that uh, if you are able to gain uh, a fraction of knowledge from this video then my objective of writing this uh, book is highly achieved thank you so much ajay chabra uh, flame university campus pune india